So your GoPro is freezing on you. Well, I think I know what the problem is. All of last year, shooting with the Hero 9, I never had any problems with it freezing. And then I got the Hero 10. And while I was shooting that Hero 10 versus Hero 9 video, the 9 actually froze on me for the first time ever. And do you want to know why? So welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black, and I love to review cool gear that comes my way but also try to keep it quick and to the point. But having said that, don't be a stranger, and all the links are in the description, plus a surprise link. The problem is you're shooting on your GoPro and it freezes on you and you have to do like a hard reset or take the battery out, or also maybe you're just recording something and you get the dreaded SD card error. So over the whole year of shooting with this thing, I never had any problems because I was using this which is the exact same card that I was recommending last year. So when I got the 10, I took this card out of the nine and put it in the 10. And while I was shooting that Hero 10 versus Hero 9 video, since I didn't have any extra Extreme Pro cards, I had to put in an Extreme. I thought, what's this gonna harm? It's just for one quick video. And well, it happened. For the first time, the GoPro froze on me. Then it got me thinking, all of those online rants about how terrible the Hero 9 is and what a failure it is and how it freezes and has so many problems and they're probably saying the same things about the 10. It's probably due to the fact that you need a better micro SD card. And when I say better, you're probably going, oh, it's gonna be a lot more expensive. No, we're talking like a difference between $5. And to be honest, when you're just looking at the specs of this, they, they look pretty identical. But the big difference that I saw was the Extreme Pro has a faster transfer speed. And I also recommend getting anywhere from the 64 gig to the 128 gig. Anything more than that, I think that you have a little bit more room for error. And when I say more room for error, I mean if something does fail, you can lose a lot more. And those cards are a little bit more expensive. And just for another example, that last video I did where I was flying in the plane testing out the 5.3K 60 frames per second, I actually ordered two of these 64 gig cards and put them in both Hero 10s. And although I was a little bit worried that there could be a problem, when we landed, I checked the footage and it worked perfectly. So at this point, you might be thinking, what about the Samsung cards? Way ahead of you. I got one of these and tested it out extensively and it works great too. So yeah, if you are compelled to get a Samsung card, well, I feel like this would be a good one to go with. And I'm not trying to sound like an expert. I'm sure there's a lot of YouTube tech nerds that are probably one minute into the video just race down to the comments to correct something that I screwed up. And you know what? Thank you for your input. This is just me, a guy that uses this card a lot and will continue to use it. So I only have my own experiences to go by and know what works and what doesn't work. The moral of this video is to not skimp on your SD cards for the GoPro, which is kind of funny to say because 128 gigabyte micro SD card for $26? I remember back in the day when it used to cost. No, let's not go down that road. I've said what I need to say and uh, well, that's the end of the video. So thanks so much for watching. And uh, if this did help at all, please give that little thumbs up. That'd be great. Also, you can check out my memberships if you wanna see more exclusive behind the scenes content, live streams, and some giveaways. Also, the Tech is Hard podcast, a weekly podcast you can listen to or watch live about uh, you know new tech, old tech, and uh, the YouTube creator life. So, all right, cool. See you guys in the next one.